Hello friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be painting a snowshoe hare in a snowy forest for my January bullet journal cover page. And I will also be working on all my spreads for January 2023. Thank you for joining on this plan with me video. I started off by laying down some drawing gum. I'm really excited to use this as I really like the stark white effect that it creates. Then I paint in the background. I'm keeping my paintings for my January spreads pretty simple as I am also simultaneously trying to finish an entire customized bullet journal for my friend, which I'm aiming to finish before January, so it's quite the hustle. I'll be sharing a flip through of that finished bullet journal soon. Now adding in some dark green trees. And some shadows. Rubbing off the dried masking fluid was really fun. And then I used a lip roller to pick up the little bits and pieces. detail in the foreground as well, so I'm adding some branches. Next, I'm outlining my Dutch door. Not sure what to do with this empty space, so I'm adding another painting to match the cover page. to-do list and one word a day, I am decorating the spread with some washi tape and simple snowflake doodles. I am experimenting with different types of Dutch doors each month and different styles of spreads too. I'm trying out many things to slowly figure out what works best for me. I think it might take years for me to settle into a specific style after trying out many experiments. Or it's possible that I'll continue to experiment and see where my creativity takes me. For this month, I am cutting out Dutch doors in the middle for my weeklies, keeping an unchanging painted header and footer. I really like this format and definitely will do another spread of this style in the future. I accidentally created a second goals page in my January spread. I guess I'm just really excited for my 2023 goals. In the upcoming year, I really want to focus on my mental and physical health. What are your goals for 2023?
Incorporating habit trackers is something relatively new to me. I keep forgetting to fill them out. I'll see if I can keep up the habit of filling out the habit trackers in the coming year, as I do think it would be very helpful. I'm keeping my weekly simple, with just some boxed off sections for each day and watercolor doodles in the center of each weekly spread. dream log for my dreams and nightmares. I'm also adding memories and reflection spreads so that I can drop down highlights from each month, as well as my reflections on the month and or my goals. It's rare that I don't fill my art with a lot of metallic highlights, but this time, for some reason, I just opted for gold lines for the header and footer, and nothing more. The tape peel is always so satisfying, except when I rip off part of the paper underneath, which I did this time. But that's okay, washi tape to the rescue. And now for a flip through. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you soon.